Today I'm going to show you how to build your very own micro SaaS without any code using software and Boardgame.ai. So what type of stuff can you build exactly? Well, you can build internal tools like employee directories, or you can build a client portal and even entire marketplaces. And the best part, it takes only 10 minutes and it's completely free. So in this video, we're going to be using software to build our no-code website using a database that's located in Airtable and we'll use Bardeen.ai to populate that database with just a few clicks starting right now. By the way, both products have won product of the month and product of the year on product hunt. They're blowing up. For our first use case, we're going to be building an employee directory so that people can log on and see who works at a company. So here I have an example of such a page. Here we have talent space, uh, some description over here, and of course, a directory of employees. This is a live website, but what if I wanted to add an additional person to this website? Check it out, you can do it with one click. Here we have Lizzie's LinkedIn profile, and she is a community lead at software. I'm going to use Bardeen.ai Chrome extension, just like this, and click on the automation that's called LinkedIn to software. It takes one click. And all we need to do right now is we need to go to our live website one more time and just refresh the page. And there we have another person added to the live website with just one click. And now let me show you how this website and the automation were created so that you can use them as an inspiration for your very own use case. We'll start here at software and we're going to use a pre-built template. I highly recommend checking them out because you don't have to do anything from scratch. And the template I'm looking for is this one. It's called employee directory. I'm going to click on preview and then use this template. From here, you need to connect your Airtable. Let's click on this link over here to open my Airtable. So we are in the developer space. I'm going to copy this API code and paste it here. The first step was to select the template. The second step is to connect Airtable API. And then finally, we need to create a database in Airtable. You can copy a pre-built one or start from scratch. I really like copying pre-built ones because it's obviously the simplest solution. Let's click on add base. Boom, and just like this with a few click, here we have the database that we can start building on top of. Let's go back to software over here and let's click on create application. In software, you can build websites block by block. So this is a website section. You can remove it or you can add another one. Let's try adding another block. And then software has many different pre-built blocks that you can use. For example, you can use lists just like this one. You can use tables, charts, and so much more. So let's go ahead and delete this first block to make our demo look a little bit cleaner. And there we have our database of employees. It looks like each person has three different variables, their name, their position, and their location. So let's click on features to see what we have going on over here. So photo, name, job title, some additional text, and the location. And the text is disabled. For my website, I also want to add a LinkedIn URL. So let me go to Airtable over here and add an additional field. Let's scroll all the way to the right and add a field. It's going to be a URL type of field and it's going to be called LinkedIn. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and delete all of the templated people from here. I'm going to right click and click on delete all selected. Now we have a clean table and we're back in software. I'm going to add an additional field, pick URL field. And here under content, let's search for LinkedIn and it's not showing up yet, so I'm going to refresh the page. Let's click on features again, label, LinkedIn. Okay, there we have the field, and I'm going to call it LinkedIn over here as well. Finally, I'm going to delete this additional block that I do not like. And there we have a very clean looking database page. And finally, as you can see, there is this little lock icon, meaning that this block is not going to be visible to everybody who visits the page, but to only certain people, only to the logged in users. So I want to make this part visible for everybody, just for the demo purposes. Let's click on publish and click on publish here again. Open this website in a separate tab and let's go ahead and populate 
uh, this database with Pardeen. Let's go on LinkedIn, and I'm going to be using LinkedIn as the data source from which to add new employees. Let's click on Pardeen. You can download the Chrome extension in the description of this video, and let's click on Create New Playbook over here. There are only two actions that we need. We need to copy information from this LinkedIn page, and then we need to add that information to Airtable. The action that copies information from the currently open page is called Scrape. So we're going to be scraping data on active tab, meaning the currently open tab. And then here, Bardeen asks us to input a scraper template. Scraper template just informs Bardeen which fields that we want to extract. Here, we're going to click on create new scraper template, pick this LinkedIn page. And here we have a choice of picking the single page scraper. So when items only show up once, such as this LinkedIn profile page, or you can go to LinkedIn search and scrape hundreds of employees with just a few clicks. But for this case, we're going to be using this single page scraper and call this LinkedIn page scraper. Click on start building. And here I can hover over the elements that I'm interested in and click on the element. For example, I want to grab the name. I'm going to pick name. You can also grab the image of the person. And then instead of grabbing the text, we can grab the image and call it image. Let's grab the tagline. We can get the location. Company. And pretty much any other field that you are interested in. I'm going to also grab about. Okay, and finally, we want to extract the URL from this page, but you cannot hover over this element and extract that because it is off the limits. Instead, you can click on add special field over here and then pick page link. So this is going to be our LinkedIn URL that we're going to be extracting. At the bottom of the page, you can see the data preview. So these are all of the fields that we are extracting. I'm going to click on save template and we're going to be brought back to the builder. So we're copying information from the currently open tab, and then we want to add this information to that Airtable database. Let's click on new action. And then the first time you run this, I can see my Airtable integration over here, but if you do not have it integrated yet, that's no problem. You can click on this plus icon over here, and then find Airtable at the very top. So there I have it integrated. Let's click on Airtable. And let's add data to Airtable. The name of our table is employee directory. And here we have a few tables, employee directory and time off. I'm interested in the employee directory. And all we need to do right now is to map data from the scraper to the data fields from Airtable. All right, let's configure the name first. We're going to grab data from action one and the field is called name. Then we want to link the photo, it's called image location for the job title I want to use tagline let's scroll all the way down at the bio which is not going to be visible but it's all right we can change that later that's going to be our about and finally the LinkedIn URL LinkedIn URL there it is click on done click on done again to save this automation call it employee directory from LinkedIn. Click on save. Okay, and there we have it. Here we have our automation. Let's go back to Airtable. As you can see, the Airtable is empty. And here is where the magic is going to happen. So here we are on Lazy's profile page. Let's go ahead and execute this automation. Takes one click, all of the information is extracted. And let's go ahead and refresh our live website over here. And there we have Lizzie. How amazing is that? Now we can go ahead and find somebody else, like this person who also works at Softer. Click on Bardeen, click on Employee Directory, one more time, refresh our website, bam, there we have it. And by the way, if you remember, we had this custom field, the LinkedIn profile page, and it works. I love bringing no-code apps to existence in minutes instead of days, and it didn't require any engineering resources at all. 
For the second use case, I'm going to show you how to build our very own real estate marketplace that's going to be private and available only to people who are logged in. Let's imagine that I'm a realtor and I want to have a list of all properties in my neighborhood so that all people, when they think about, I want to live in this area, they come to me. And this is exactly the app we're going to build, completely white labeled on my own domain. Let's click on new application over here and type in property. Here we have a couple templates. Let's click on the very first one. I'm going to scroll through it to see if I like this template. Looks like there are individual property pages and then we have a list of properties. Then there is a way for people to become a host. Sign up, sign in, looks exactly like what I'm looking for. And most importantly, here I have my list of properties. I'm going to click on use template, type in my API key. I have it saved in my clipboard. Let's copy their pre-built database and let's add it to our base over here. I'm going to rename it and call it uh, my amazing real estate website. Close all of this unnecessary stuff select everything other than one property, right click on this, delete all records, and boom, there we have it. Uh, let's go back here, create our application in software. I'm going to publish it so we can view the changes right away. Let's close this stuff. Okay, and there is our website. Here we have one property over here. It looks good to me, I'm just going to click on publish like this and open this website in the new tab. Okay, let's scroll down. This is our house. Now I want to go ahead and source properties from somewhere. It can be Airbnb or it can be Zillow. Let's go to Zillow and get some properties scraped. Here I need to type in a zip code. Let me pick this zip code in San Francisco. Super expensive properties, 2.8 million for 1,700 square feet, no thank you. But since we're representing this region, we might as well include that one. So here we have 100 listings, and there we have 108 agent listings, sounds good. Let's scroll down a little bit more. Okay, awesome. Um, now let's open Bardeen from here and let's build a list scraper. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the full screen mode and click on create playbook. Let's click on the scraper action like we did before. Let's extract information from the currently open page. Create a new scraper template. And this template is going to be using this website. Finally, I'm going to pick list scraper, not the single page scraper because I want to extract all of the pages from there. I'm going to call this scraper template Zillow listings and let's start building. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to tell Bardeen what is a list, because as you can see, there are multiple lists going on here, such as this navigation bar. For us, obviously, we want to get the listings, so I'm going to click on two similar list elements into different list items, and boom, there we have our list. Now I want to pick elements from the list that I want to extract. Let's grab the price. And then I also want to grab information that's going to be located behind that price tag, because if I was to click on the price, most likely that a new listing page would open. Let's click on the link and see if we can grab the uh, property link. Okay, and looks like this element doesn't have a link under it, so I'm going to delete it. And instead, let me try to select this entire list item. I'm going to carefully hover over this element, try to grab the property link. From there, element type, link, get data, bam, and there we have the links. So this one was the correct guess. Let's grab the location, number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, square footage, And of course, the first image. Let's pick the image data type. 
Let's look at the data preview and image was collected correctly as well. The final thing we want to do is because there are 108 listings, we want to grab all of them. And the way Zillow works, it's going to dynamically load more listings as you scroll down on the page. So what we want to do is we want to pick pagination for it so that Bardeen does it automatically. So instead of no pagination, we're going to pick infinite scroll. Again, when you scroll down, more listings get loaded. Let me pick infinite scroll and save this template. Because we're scraping a list, you can also define how many list items that you want to extract. If you leave this field empty, it's going to extract as many items as possible. In my case, I want to define how many items I want to grab. Let's type in how many listings. Click on done, click on done again. And finally, let's add this information to Airtable like we did before. Click so on Airtable, add data to Airtable. Okay, and as you can see, there we have the apartments tab from the My Amazing Real Estate website base. Let me link all of these fields. And done. Let me save this automation, call it Zillow to my website. Click on save. Are you ready? I'm going to click on this automation and let's grab 100 listings and run the automation. As you can see, Bardeen is going to scroll down to the very bottom of the page to try to get as many listings as possible. And I'm already seeing that there are 40 records that were collected. We're going to open our Airtable over here. Here's all the data, which is amazing. Let's uh, try to refresh the page. This is our live website. I'm going to refresh it. And bam, just like this. There it is. These are all the listings in our region. Phenomenal. This is exactly what I was looking for. Let's scroll down to the very bottom and it looks like we only have 41 listings. And that's probably because instead of infinite scroll, we do have list pagination, meaning that you need to pick a different option and click on this button, which is a very simple adjustment of the scraper template. But we're not done yet. We want to hide these listings so that only people with an account can access them. Let's delete this useless block from over here. And we are going to select this block, click on visibility and make it visible only to logged in users. So if I publish this website, let's publish changes and open it in the new tab, boom, we would not see all of our listings anymore. We need to be logged in. So let's go ahead and try to log in and let's sign up. Bam, once we're signed up, here are all of the listings. This is how easy it is. And this is pretty much it. And this one video in 20 minutes, we've built two entire micro SaaS products. How amazing is this? And not only was it fast, it was also free. That's a double win in my book. And now it is your turn to build your very own app. And by the way, both Bardeen and Softer have awesome user communities. I'm going to leave the links to join those communities and ask more in-depth questions in the description of this video. And if you want to learn a little bit more about how the Bardeen data scraper works, make sure to watch this video next. It's right here. Click it.